Hello everyone and thank you for joining this webinar concerning the partnership between Goldsmith, University of London and the Athens Conservatoire College of Music. First of all, I would like to apologize for the two minutes delay. Um, in this webinar, you will be able to learn a lot about the UK course opportunities available to you at Greece's Athens Conservatoire College in collaboration with Goldsmith University of London. I'm the Head of Education of the British Council in Greece and together with my colleague Andrea Stroika, who has now disappeared from our screen, uh, we will be moderating this session. I have to say that I'm delighted to be chairing this webinar for the opportunity that I also have, along with you, to meet with representatives from both the UK institution as well as the principal of the Athens Conservatoire College of Music. Um, at the moment, we're still expecting our, uh, you know, Dr. Page, the representative from Goldsmith University to join us. She must be facing some technical issues. I hope this will be resolved. Uh, but we wanted to make a prompt start and we've got our key speaker from, from the uh, um, Athens Conservatoire College of Music. Um, I'm also aware, uh, Mr. Marinos, that this is a brand new uh, partnerships a partnership for you and I understand that it's an ambitious partnership as well so I'm keen on, on finding out more keen on hearing what uh, you will say before I present our speakers just a couple of housekeeping rules I'm sure that if you have attended several webinars you have heard of these things already you must have learned them by heart but still uh, don't forget don't be shy type your questions into the Q&A box and we will try to answer as many as we can in the available time uh, this week's program is full of different opportunities, different partnerships uh, from the countries participating in the program, from Greece, Cyprus, Malta, Bulgaria, Croatia. So uh, make sure you find the time to check the recordings of your interest. And above all, uh, this is the last day, so I hope you've made the most of the opportunities that you've had all this week. But today is the last day to book your one-to-one -one chats with universities you're interested in. They are here to help you. Uh, today's recording, uh, you will receive it uh, immediately after the end of this session. Um, so, uh, without further ado, I would like to give the e floor to Mr. Dimitrios Marinos. Uh, Dimitris is the principal of the Athens Conservatoire College of Music. Dimitris, a warm welcome to you. Uh, it's a great pleasure to, to be meeting you, and, and over to you. Thank you so much for the lovely and warm introduction, Maria. Um, uh, I would like to say special thanks to you and uh, Andrea for uh, sharing our session and for ensuring that our webinar will run smoothly. Thank you so much. So we would like to warmly welcome you to the webinar of the Athens Conservatoire College of Music. Actually, in this webinar, you will learn all about the UK um, course opportunities available to you at Greece's. Athens Conservatoire College of Music in collaboration with Goldsmiths University of London. Uh, we will do our best to provide you with an informative and thorough overview of our program, which consists of videos, PowerPoint presentations, live interaction, and a Q&A session at the end. Uh, first, we will present to you a video which shows the beauty and the dynamics of our premises.
So I hope you enjoy the video. <laughs> I can see Tara, so... Can I just chip in? Yes, Dimitris. First of all, I have to say I have been totally charmed, both by the premises as well as the music. <laughs> Wonderful video. That's You're my welcome. personal opinion. And of course, a very warm welcome to Dr. Page. I hope everything is okay now and you've managed to enter the session smoothly. So a warm welcome. We'll hear more from you later on. And back to you, Dimitris, to continue your presentation. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I have to tell that uh, I have the pleasure to share the session with my dear colleague, uh, Dr. Tara Page, who is the Academic Director, International Development Academic Partnership, Goldsmiths University of London. So we will have the opportunity to elaborate on this uh, later on. So the building is really monumental, but um, I think this is the right time to have an overview uh, of the program and uh, its uh, specifications. So we move on to our next video. My name is Dimitros Marinos, and I'm the principal of the Athens Conservatoire College of Music. I'm going to give you an overview of the program and we highlight its main specifications. Awarding excellence in music performance. From September 2022, the Athens Conservatoire College of Music will deliver a new Bachelor of Music program in collaboration with Goldsmiths University of London. This will offer successful graduates an internationally recognized UK degree following a four-year program of study at the premises of the Athens Conservatoire in Athens, Greece. The institutional partnership brings together two leading educational institutions for the advancement of music education in Athens. Goldsmiths was founded in 1891 and is renowned for its influential research and creative practice with courses spanning the arts, humanities, social sciences, cultural studies, computing, business and management. Goldsmiths is ranked 42 in the world for music in the QS World University rankings. The Athens Conservatoire, established in 1871, is the oldest and currently the leading educational institution for the performing arts in Greece. The institution has played a pivotal role in the advancement of music, drama and dance studies in Greece, with renowned artists having been graduates or teachers of the institution throughout its history. This four-year program, leading to a Bachelor of Music validated by Goldsmiths, University of London, is designed to blend performance practice and academic inquiry in the field of Western art music, approached through artistic, historical and pedagogical perspectives. The program encompasses a broad spectrum of historical and contemporary repertoires and offers students numerous alternative pathways and specializations, individually adaptable to their specific talents and future career interests as performing musicians, researchers in music performance or music educators. The program aims at training instrumentalists and vocalists, either as professional solo or ensemble performers, or as academically informed and efficient educators and provides a foundation for postgraduate study in the field of Western art music. Students who have successfully completed the program will possess abilities in their chosen profiles and pathways such as technical fluency, stylistic awareness, interpretive creativity and pedagogical efficacy. They will possess flexible and transferable skills such as ease of communication and self-expression through both traditional and new media, a developed artistic creativity and cogent critical thinking, as well as solid general music education. The program is delivered by a teaching staff comprised of experienced performing artists and academics through a combination of individual tutorials, tutorials in small groups, lectures, seminars, workshops, and supervised rehearsals leading to student concerts. Visiting guest artists and academics further enrich the institution's curriculum through specialized master classes and lectures. All modules make use of the virtual learning environment as a repository of essential module information and all students receive an introductory presentation of basic software skills. The Athens Conservatoire Technology Labs offer further opportunity for training in digital sound applications and the Digital Center for the Performing Arts facilitates access to content and audiences from other countries through the application of new high-tech platforms such as Lola and Polycom. Years one and two develop a knowledge base common to students from all pathways combined with extensive performing experience with elective modules adding flexibility to each student's individual path. In years three and four, the program offers a choice of different study profiles. 
students have the choice of specializing in their classical and contemporary performance, historical performance, or music education. The final year four offers considerable flexibility, allowing for the student's own creative and academic initiative under the supervision of a personal tutor who will advise and guide each student in the design and implementation of an original creative project and the student's core research project. Specifically, students can choose one of the following profiles, classical and contemporary performance, historical performance, instrumental vocal pedagogy. Furthermore, the program offers a variety of pathways, such as woodwind instruments, flute, oboe, clarinet, saxophone, bassoon, brass instruments, horn, trumpet, trombone, tuba, keyboard, piano, harpsichord, organ, percussion, black string instruments, harp, guitar, lute, bow string instruments, violin, viola, violoncello, viola da gamba, double bass, and vocalists. At this point, we should mention that the instrumental and vocal tuition is adapted according to the various different career goals for performers or educators. To demonstrate the importance of this program, we should emphasize the key strengths of it. Program scope, earn an internationally recognized degree awarded in Athens, Greece. Our difference, a program which is designed to award excellence in music performance. Learning environment, study in a vibrant institution which encompasses all performing arts. Teaching staff, joined by internationally recognized artists, performers, and educators. Facilities, its iconic building of the Bauhaus modernist tradition offers an exceptional and wide array of facilities. Location, an attractive international destination combining history, science, and the arts. The connection with leading cultural institutions makes the Athens Conservatoire College of Music a unique and viable cultural hub of various contemporary art and cultural events cultivating a vibrant environment of artistic expression for all our students and teachers. Athens is considered an attractive international destination. Its history and archaeological heritage, its current urban arty personality, geography and climate, political stability, low cost of living, and general quality of life make it an attractive destination to foreign students interested in musical studies from neighboring or other regions. Moreover, Greece enjoys the benefits of being an European Union and Eurozone country, and naturally it represents the safe harbor country for much of the wider region. The Athens Conservatoire College of Music offers an exceptional learning environment. Students and teaching staff have access to a wide array of facilities for teaching, academic research, and performance. The program is implemented in the framework of the Athens Conservatoire, whereas its centrally located modernistic and recently renovated building currently houses faculties for music, dance, and drama, as well as the Center for Research and Documentation. The Aris Garufalis venue is the main concert hall, ideally suited for chamber music ensembles, smaller orchestras, and intimate stage performances. The concert hall is regularly used for the needs of the students and staff, hosting music exams, auditions, rehearsals, as well as concerts, music competitions, and other cultural events. Next to this venue can be found the black box, which can be turned into a wide cube for alternative approaches to musical creation. Moreover, the Digital Center for the Performing Arts houses state-of-the-art interactive video conference technology, such as Lola and Polycom. These platforms are novel software which connect students, educators, and distinguished artists across different institutions and countries around the globe. Furthermore, an institutional collaboration with the nearby music library Lilian Buduri of the Friends of Music Society ensures that students have free access to the substantial academic resources. The library is housed at Megaron, the Athens Concert Hall, which is the premier classical music venue of Athens. In addition, the iconic building that houses the institution is currently undergoing a publicly funded major renovation and modernization project. Part of this project is the development of a dedicated, specialized audiovisual lab complex, which will host an array of state-of-the-art studios for recording and electronic processing of sound and image, rooms for music rehearsals and training. As we have reached the end of the presentation, we would like to underline that the Athens Conservatoire College of Music has a broad network of institutional relations with potential employers for graduates including the main classical music promoters in the country. I would like to personally thank you for your attention, and I hope 
we succeeded in providing you with a thorough and clear overview of the program. Uh, Dimitris, thank you very, very much. This was an excellent presentation, very, very thank powerful. You, uh, it must be a very exciting project. I mean, I knew that it's a brand new partnership. I knew that it was an ambitious one, but I think that your presentation reflected, you know, very, very completely, you know, all that dimension and all that, you know, potential. And I will quickly go over to Dr. Tara Page. Tara, welcome. Thank you very much for joining us. Tara is the Academic Director, International Development and Academic Partnerships at Goldsmith University of London. And over to you, Tara. Lovely. Thank you so much, Maria. And thank you so much for your patience. There were a few technical issues. So I just wanted to say thank you so much to Demetrius and to Maria um, for the warm invitation to this event. Um, and especially, it's like I agree with Maria, the, the wonderful images of the conservatoire and, and the, the context the institution within, is within is incredibly in, inspiring. And it's also brought back many fond memories for myself when, when I was working with Demetrius and his colleagues a couple of years ago. So. So um, as uh, Maria and, and Demetria said, I'm the Academic Director for International Development and Academic Partnerships at Goldsmiths. So I work with a team of colleagues where we develop innovative academic collaborations with partners, both locally and globally. And so we, what we're wanting to do in these partnerships is to achieve excellence in teaching, learning, research and practice. So Goldsmiths has a an incredibly strong global track record for interdisciplinary research in the field. And our graduates go on to play leading roles in the music industry and also like across creative fields. So it's like in terms of uh, the Athens Conservatoire, it also has played this pivotal role in the advancement of music and drama studies in Greece, but also internationally. So with so many renowned artists and having, you know, been graduates, but also teachers throughout its history. So we're incredibly excited to be partnering with such a prestigious centre of learning in the development of this program. But it's also goes beyond this in the sense that Goldsmiths and the Athens Conservatoire, we have a real synergy between our institutions. There's a real resonance in between uh, our, our mission and our values where we can both learn from and with each other. And Athens Conservatoire College of Music and Goldsmiths are both dedicated to academic excellence. And we're focusing in on creative, but also very advanced approaches to learning and teaching. So this partnership is only gonna strengthen this commitment. And it's, you know, where I said before, we're going to be learning from and with each other in order to how to, to progress and adapt in this, particularly this period of time where there's, you know, rapid and continuous change. So for those of you in the webinar who, who are students are incredibly, you know, lucky to have all these opportunities that exist at, at, at currently in, in higher education. I think this Bachelor of Music program, I believe, is really designed to offer an incredibly broad spectrum of historical and contemporary repertoires and there are many pathways and specialisations that Demetrius just mentioned. But also I think what's, what's key with this program is that it's designed for your specific talents and it's then where you're, you're wanting your future career and interests to go, whether it's that's as a, a performing musician, a researcher in music performance or a music educator. So I think, it, as you said, Maria, it's incredibly exciting and, and ambitious, but also something that has great potentials and opportunities, I think, for the students who are interested in the program and wanting to enrol. So thank you. Tara. Um, and I would like to also invite Dimitris to join us. We've reached the part where, you know, we've got time uh, for a very, you know, uh, interesting conversation. And while we might, you know, wait in questions uh, in the Q&A box, I've got a few questions of my own to kick off uh, uh, the discussion. First of all, as I said, I mean, indeed, I kind of feel a genuine admiration for the way that, you, you know, you presented the program, you know, from both ends. I think that here you've got a really perfect match of the abilities and capabilities of two different institutions. And I think that, you know, this program, uh, Dimitris, is opening doors for, you know, an international audience that, 
um, you know, your, your institution is, is likely to attract. And starting with that, do you only have Greek students in mind with the establishment of this program or do you want to uh, open it up to an international audience? That goes, Maria, to, to me, actually. To me. Uh, well, it can start with you and then yeah. Tara can, can yeah, come in. Uh, but starting with you, yes. What yeah. was your primary objective in terms of, you know, the international audience? I would like to yes, I think that um, it's clearly we have stated that uh, we, we are open to any, um, to international students, not only, of course, we are, um, you know, we would like to, uh, welcome uh, students from Greece, but uh, all over um, the Mediterranean basin, Europe, and not only, <laughs> I can tell. So actually, this is an international program. And uh, because the discipline uh, uh, has to do with music, and, you know, music, it's, um, you know, so to say, we can, most of the time, we, we claim that music is an international language for everyone. So, yeah, this is a program that is dedicated to... To educate, uh, to educate performers and um, the potential and the future uh, uh, professionals uh, in music uh, performance. So uh, we are we are doing an open call to um, to international students equally with the ones coming from Greece and Cyprus. To kind of yeah. yeah. Thank you, thank you, Dimitris. And to kind of extend the question to Tara, I understand, Tara, that, you know, from Goldsmith perspective, I think this was one of the criteria you were looking for into setting up a partnership in Greece, that you were not only looking into a domestic, you know, audience, but also a, a way of reaching out a wider audience in the region. Definitely. And, and, and that's where I think it's, you know, even though, you know, educationally, personally, in our in our lives for the last couple of years, we've all experienced this pandemic. I think what it actually has opened up is the possibilities that you know that students really do have access to to curriculum and learning, regardless of the geographical location that they're currently living in. That you know, to to be able to sort of you know. You know, move to Greece and have these these opportunities in in Athens with Demetrius and and his colleagues and to learn in such a rich environment. I think it's sort of like you know, in a lot of ways, the pandemic's made us look at things that maybe that you know they're smaller, but there's also so many more opportunities in in terms of of learning and to to learn from an institution that just has such a strong tradition. Um, you know. In, a, exactly. in many ways, exactly. I, I totally, I wish I totally I was understand. I totally understand what you mean. <laughs> Um, again, thinking thinking about students, because, you know, the, the audience here is students, uh, prospective students. Uh, I'm sure the questions, you know, that come to mind have to do with fees, have to do with, you know, scholarships, mm -hmm. have to do with, you know, employability. So I, I kind of listed three areas and these would be the questions. So starting with tuition fees, what would it mean financially studying this course at, um, at the Athens Conservatoire College of Music? Yeah. So actually, uh, uh, in regards to the tuition fees, the tuition fees for the um, um, European Union students are uh, 6,900 6, uh, euros um, per year uh, throughout the, the, the four years of um, the program. Uh, for the non-EU uh, students are 11,900 uh, euros. So actually, the, um, as, I, as I said before, the, the above fees are you know, set for one academic year and may be uh, subject to an annual increase, but throughout the four years of the program, uh, the amount remains exactly the same. So in order you know, to, to budget your studies for the following four years, it's really important for the, for the potential cohorts. And um, um, uh, probably the next question would be, okay, there's, is there any financial support, any kind of scholarships or um, uh, discount? Yes, of course. And, um, and we, are really, we are really committed to support students from all backgrounds and offer scholarships which um, cover by um, tuition fees, um, scholarships uh, which can, can cover the tuition fees uh, either in full or in part. And uh, these are funded by requests, uh, supporting foundations, sponsors, and um, our own institutions funding. So mm -hmm. uh, actually the, um, the scholarships are based, um, I can uh, I'd say in, um, 
on two pillars uh, on the basis of musical merit um, and um, the you know the performance during the audition process and so on and so forth and uh, we are really taking into consideration and the financial status and background of the students and the candidates so uh, these two main pillars are in favor of uh, you know uh, deciding uh, who are we going to support and uh, provide and grant them scholarships and discounts for the tuition fees okay Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. And before we carry on, you know, with questions around, I don't know, Tara, if you would like to, to add anything to what Dimitris has said? Sorry, it's like everything went blank and I didn't hear anybody. So. Oh, really? That's okay. That's okay. I think we are kind of, you know, students are fully covered by the answers provided by Dimitris. But, uh, you know, I was you know, I was asking about entry, I was asking about tuition fees and financial support. And I think this this was covered by the meters. I just wanted to, to make sure that, you know, you have the opportunity of adding anything else. Now, we've got a question. We've got a question from, from Christopher. Christopher asks, what are the entry qualifications for Greek students who have taken Greek theory and practical examinations in the Odeons? Yeah. Uh, Maria, um, I think that um, this will be answered by the um, following part of the presentation that has to do with the admissions, the entry requirements, but okay. I can... Uh, we do have okay uh, so then i think so uh, i can come back on this uh, later on and uh, so shall i shall i propose and dimitri that we carry on with the second part of the presentation I, and then we yeah i just want to sorry for interrupting I, I would like to add something you said um you asked about the scholarship and uh about employability which is mm -hmm. really really important and uh, i have to underline that um we are, you know, I have to say we are on a vantage uh, uh, point because we are um, uh, in the center of Athens and we are close to the um, uh, professional orchestras. Uh, we have in residence professional assemblies and orchestras in our premises. So the, um, our, one of our main priorities is not only the educational part, inside that educational part and this uh, process throughout the four years, it's embedded the you know, the notion of employability, the entrepreneurship, um, the, the notion of sustainability that is really important that, um, for the time being and for, you know, applying for, for grants in the European Union or else. So we are trying from the very first, we'll try for the very first year, our students to really come, uh, have, uh, you know, grasp the, the what in reality is, um, uh, to be in the profession uh, as, a, as, uh, as a musician and uh, playing in professional orchestras and um, which, which is for, for any discipline, I think it's really important and especially for music because it's an ongoing process and um, it's really important to be really interconnected with the um, employability of uh, your profession. Um, Thank you, Dimitris. That's excellent. So shall we then move on yes, to well, the presentation about well, admissions? Yes. I would like to, to thank Tara about what uh, she said before. Um, you know, the, um, I'm really excited and uh, I have to express my gratitude for, for uh, uh, being working with, um, with Tara and uh, the rest of the Goldsmiths team for the real, realization of this program. And, um, and she's really great in, sh in sharing with us her experience. So Tara, many, many thanks. I have to say that publicly as well. <laughs> so, <laughs> Let's move on to the admissions. Um, um, let me check on the slide. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I think everyone can see the slide, right? Yes, yeah. we can. Yeah, yeah. So uh, the admissions, um, actually the admissions are currently open for the academic year starting September uh, 2022. Um, the application procedure consists of two steps. An application form must be filled in, submitted. Uh, this could be found uh, on our website. You can visit uh, our website, collegeofmusic.athensconservatoire.gr, how to join us, and you will find out, um, you, will, you will find out many information about the um, uh, admission process and the specific uh, application form. Uh, pay attention that the deadline for the submission of the application, including all supporting documentation, is the 17th of April 2022. Uh, 
actually is one week before the, um, the Greek um, Easter. Uh, the auditions will take place within the first two weeks of May 2022. Um, and the, the, the candidates will uh, get informed accordingly. So the application form can be found, as I said, on our website, our website and you, start, you should provide as well the, the support documentation. Um, the auditions for, uh, yeah, the auditions for um, entry in September 2022 will be conducted either live or by video recording uh, due to COVID, due to many, many factors. If necessary, the interviews will be held through teleconference platforms. Um, actually, we, we will endeavor to provide applicants with at least 14 days notice, more or less, on the interview date. And before the interview, applicants will also be invited to provide details on any medical, special, educational, or cultural needs that should be taken into consideration for the audition. Uh, for the audition, the applicants must present a free choice program of at least three contrasting works. This can be movements rather than complete works. Uh, they must be uh, from established repertoire on their instrument or vocal study, demonstrating diversity of character and style. The maximum length of the program should be 40 minutes, maximum, maximum, and it should be performed from memory depending on the repertoire. Uh, accompanied works should be performed with an accompaniment, and pianist, please pay attention to that, uh, must perform only solo works. Please do not include any concerto repertoire. This, this will be pianist only. Um, we will normally attempt to make our decision and communicate this to the applicants within May 2022. Um, so, candidates wishing to apply should possess a Greek apolitirion with a minimum grade of Lian Kalos, that is a minimum grade of 16 out uh, of 20, or its international equivalent with a minimum of 80% uh, of the top grade. Additionally, they should have an ABRSM grade 7 or equivalent in instrumental or vocal performance, an ABRSM 5 or equivalent in music theory, and an ABRSM grade 7 or equivalent in oral skills. Um, applicants who demonstrate extraordinary uh, musical ability during their auditions or who come with substantial prior experiential learning or have previous academic or professional experience may be considered for admission even if they do not meet the minimum requirements. So please do not hesitate to apply. All applications will be decided on a case-by-case -case basis. Um, since the BIMAS uh, program is delivered in English, applicants must also possess English language skills of at least B2 standard of the Common European Framework uh, of Reference for Languages in all four components, reading, writing, speaking, listening. Uh, this is equivalent to a YELT score of uh, 6.0 with a 6.0 in writing and no element lower than 5.5. Uh, um, naturally, welcome applications from prospective students from outside uh, of Greece. International students will be considered using the standard application procedures. So the Athens Conservatory College of Music is um, actually is committed to a policy that allows for equality of opportunity and access to higher education. And as such, welcomes applications from applicants with disabilities, including those with specific learning difficulties, as well as students with long-term health conditions. There will be no discrimination on account of disability in determining whether or not a candidate will be admitted to the Bachelor of Music program. And we recognize the need to make reasonable adjustments throughout the admissions uh, process to accommodate the needs of any applicant uh, who has declared a disability. Finally, we welcome uh, applications um, from those who have been granted refugee status. And we understand that additional or alternative procedures may be necessary where documentation is not available or available in a limited way. We will consider these applications on a case-by-case -case, uh, basis in accordance with the Greek legislation. Um, so we look forward to receiving your application and welcome you to the Athens Conservatoire College of Music next year. And um, I will come back uh, to the question, Maria. Um, it has to do with the entry requirements about um, um, 
uh, prior uh, knowledge, uh, music knowledge, uh, was it right? Uh, in accordance to the Greek um, uh, system of um, or, or the, uh, of the conservatoires, the Greek conservatoires, was it right? So More than I expected. Thank you very, very much. I think, you know, the second part of the presentation in a way gives full, full account of what's required yeah. in relation to entry requirements. And, and thank you very much. I think the students attending today, you know, must have found that extremely useful. Uh, I don't know if Tara is with if, us uh, and yeah. if she would like to also join this part, as I think we believe now we've kind of reached the proper, proper part of the of the Q&A now for any further questions that students attending might be having. Um, again, a question for me, uh, which is important when you're having a collaboration between a UK university and a local institution. Uh, what are the what is the connection with the partner institution with Goldsmith a University of London on the day to day, if you like, you know, uh, flow of the program? To do will students attending this program will be having, if you like, enjoying the experience of both the Greek environment as well as the UK partner institution. And in what way does this program allow allow that? Tara, would you like to address address this? Yeah. Um, I think at, the, at this stage, uh, Marie, we're in uh, in, in talks with um, Demetrius and and his um, colleagues about how we can work more closely together in a sense about sharing resources and 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 knowledges um, at, at this stage but um, we've largely been concentrating on the program itself and Goldsmiths and, and ACCM colleagues will be working incredibly closely together to ensure the the quality of the program that in terms of the curriculum but also meeting the the learning needs of of the students but we've had many exciting conversations with the possibilities of 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 what we can share and learn from each other as we begin this um partnership uh, if i may add maria um the exciting and uh, i have to say the challenging part of the collaboration it was that uh we were coming from two different ends coming together and we were sharing our experiences. Um, well, we, we, we claim, you know, in Greece that we have um, uh, uh, a knowledge, a specific knowledge and um, experience in uh, performing the pure performing part of the, the educational process uh, in terms of music and performance. And uh, we we bring to we brought together the the academics and the performing per, uh, experience that that comes from institutions such as uh, Goldsmiths and uh, which is um, in London. And I have to say that as a pianist, when I graduated, because I'm a pianist at the end of the day, I wear the hat of a pianist. <laughs> I studied in London, and it is a vibrant environment. And all these experiences, the knowledge and the know-how comes together to this program. So this is a, a wonderful uh, mixture of um, different uh, aspects of the, the, the same, the very same thing, which is the music and performance. And this is the, as I said, this is really exciting, but at the same time is really challenging. And um, this is actually the exciting part something to be challenging. It's indeed and, uh, exciting. I think yeah, you know, yeah. to be developing a program, you know, yeah. bringing together the best of knowledge and the best of expertise from two institutions and blending that into one. I think this is a very yeah. exciting process so, yeah. and a very creative process. Um, looking, looking ahead, this is a four-year undergraduate program. In the, in the process that you have followed in forming the partnership, what are the sort of postgraduate uh, opportunities that you might have identified. So what is the sort of continuation of the program? What additional opportunities in terms of advancing, you know, their, their knowledge and their qualifications can this program offer as a foundation? Is that part of the of the thinking process and the planning process that you, you work on? So in terms, for example, you know, when they finish, would they be able to follow a postgraduate degree in Goldsmith, for example, if they want to, to move to the UK and get that sort of UK learning experience? Would you be co-developing a program so that that would give them uh, further opportunities to continue? I mean, I know I don't want to put you <laughs> on the spot, but I, I want to, to give to students attending the kind of opportunities that, you know, this degree will give them, you know, upon its completion. Yeah. Um, 
uh, Tara, if I, I just want to say, you know, uh, um, that, um, you know, uh, this is the very beginning of the program. And yes, we are trying to, so to say, to, to, to imagine the, the, the future by reflecting on the present. This is, it is exactly as it is right now. And um, of course, um, I, I'm sure that um, this is going to produce many other ideas. And uh, at the end of the day, maybe this will be under the shape of um, maybe uh, the continuation of a program in a postgraduate level. And um, the, the key factor here is that the students to have the proper educational background, so after the four years of study, to have um, all the, the, so to say, tools in order to decide where they want to go and what they want to do. And um, if they want to deviate from the, you know, the musical profession, maybe, you know, we are trained as a classical pianist and at the end of the day, maybe we are uh, music uh, producers in a big opera house. So there are many disciplines that you can choose for a postgraduate program. But for me, it's really important to have a strong basis during your uh, undergraduate studies. So, Thank Tara, you. If, Thank you. if you do agree on this. Uh, um, Is there anything that you would like to add, Tara? Can Tara? you hear us? Can you hear us, Tara? I think there's that you've now muted yourself. So if you will try and mute. I think she's having a difficulty with the sound. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so until um, we solve this technical issue, uh, I would like to go back to the question that we have on the chat because I cannot see it. the equivalent of the BRSM because I referred previously on the BRSM that you should uh, have a, because it's a UK degree, you suppose mm -hmm. it's a BRSM. So the equivalent, it's the, um, the typical surface that you must have for the um, uh, academic skills, oral skills, the theory from a uh, mm -hmm. conservatoire in Greece, which is no less than the um, level of uh, Solfez uh, 3. And um, in musical theory, uh, no less than uh, the first year of harmony. So this is really important for the students that are coming from a, a background of a conservatoire in Greece. So instead of a BRSM, they could have the equivalent of the Greek uh, Ministry of Culture, which is the Solfez 3 and Harmony 1, first year actually. I see, I see. Question, okay. Uh, one more question, Dimitris, I think this is for you. And thinking, you know, having Greek students, but also international students uh -huh. in mind, uh, in terms of the recognition uh -huh. of the degree, because, you know, students need to know that the degree they are taking is a degree that opens door for other locations, for other degrees uh, in uh -huh. their country, uh, elsewhere. So is there anything that we can, we can you know, any information you can share? I mean, is this degree academically recognized in Greece and internationally? Is it one of the degrees falling under the professional recognition, you know, sphere? So over to um, you to give us an insight uh, on this. As some of you may know that all the colleges and actually all these joint degrees and all these collaborations with um, institutions um, abroad um, are uh, legislated, are operating under the framework of the Ministry of Education, which is extremely important. And um, uh, yes, all the degrees, and this is uh, equally the same for every uh, private uh, university in Greece, all the degrees are awarded by the colleges, um, uh, have uh, the possibility of recognizing professional equivalents with degrees awarded within the domestic higher educational system of Greece. So this is, the, I think, the most important part for a student to know that can have his, her degree recognized by the authorities of the ministry. And from Aten, I'm not going to, to, to elaborate on the abbreviation, you have, um, I think you talk, at, at the very beginning of, the, um, of this week, you discussed about what is it Aten and all these Greek authorities. So uh, when you graduate and you have your degree, you can go to the specific authority of the Ministry of Education. You can have uh, your degree recognized in terms of the professional rights and the equivalence, and you can have access to the private and the public sector in Greece. Everywhere else, 
uh, apart from Greece, uh, you can do whatever you want to. I mean, academically, uh, professionally, you are free to <laughs> you are free to go. I know, Dimitris, and I kind of knew the answer, as you can understand. But oh, I just oh, wanted to make oh. sure that you, as the representative of uh, of the institution, you sort of affirm what is yeah. the situation yeah. in terms of the professional rights. And you are so right in saying that professional recognition granted through the professional equivalence is indeed the process that enables. Uh, the holder of the degree to be able to practice their profession, which is what yeah. they need to to know, which is what they need. This is the essential requirement for them to to practice their profession. Atara, I'm really really sorry for the technical issues you're facing. You're back again. I hope I can see you. So yeah, I don't know. I, I think you have been listening to the discussion we were having. So if there is anything you would like to add now that your connection is back again, it's uh, it's over to you. I think my my computer's decided it's Friday afternoon and it just doesn't work. <laughs> <work. laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I don't really know if there are any other questions. Do let me check. I mean, yes, there's an interesting question set in the in the chat box in the chat box. Uh, what is the perspective? of the employers. We talked about employability and what are, you know, the uh, um, potential that this program gives in relation to employability and how you in the curriculum try to embed the employability factor into everything you do. But uh, from the employer's perspective, uh, what kind of, you know, assets and, 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 and benefits does this degree provide you know, how do employers will perceive this degree? How is it in terms of the, its competitive position uh, with regards to, I don't know, similar degrees? Is there anything that you might want to, to say uh, on this? Um, I think that the answer um, boils down to, the, um, to the, the situation right now, actually in Athens, which is a European um, uh, capital in a European country. And uh, I think we are the only uh, European capital that um, uh, doesn't have, uh, so far, um, uh, music uh, in a higher level and ed higher educational institution, the discipline of music and performance. So actually music and performance delivers from the, um, from the conservatoires, which are doing great, great job all over the place in, in Greece. Uh, the only problem is that they are regulated by a different um, uh, ministry, the Ministry of Culture, and this is when the problem starts when it comes to recognition. So uh, the, the benefit, so to say, uh, in, for the, in, in terms of the employability and the employers, um, it has to do that if you, you have the opportunity to study here at your um, uh, home, uh, home country, hometown to study the discipline that you want to because for example uh, i will give you a short uh, uh, example i was uh, studying music and i was studying at the same time physics because you know i wanted to have a recognized degree yeah i love physics but at the same time i was thinking of having a recognized degree uh, and in order to being able to 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 see myself get um, you know uh uh, get employed in the in the uh, profession later on. So now you have the opportunity with this program to have a degree after four years that um, um, it will be recognized and you will have the professional rights recognized and you can um, uh, being able to, to, to deploy not only the knowledge that you have gained uh, all over these years and that will come back to you um, you know, as a satisfaction that you are, um, it, it's not, you know, uh, we, we usually say that music is a hobby. You, you know that in, in Greece, especially, and it's not a hobby, it's a profession. It's yeah. a really important profession. And, mm -hmm. um, I think this is the, the advantage of, uh, having this program set here in Athens. And this is the main reason that we wanted to do. We had the obligation to do that and to offer that, um, to the, Greek students, but not only Greek students, and all our neighbors uh, in that high level. So more or less, I think it's really simple that um, now you have the opportunity to, to, to have a, a high quality recognized degree in Athens. 
Thank you, thank you, Dimitris. And uh, it's nearly, nearly, we're approaching the end of the session. So I think that we have covered all pos possible angles that, you know, students may be having in mind around entry requirements, employability, the connection with the UK institution, you know, and thank you so much, Dimitris, for giving us, and you, Tara, for giving us all this, you know, detailed overview of what's on offer. There's definitely a very exciting partnership. I think it's got all the credentials, you know, to fly, to thrive, and I wish you really the very best. So, what, uh, before the end, I just want a final remark from both of you. Shall I start with you, Tara, and then on to Dimitris? Just a closing um, remark. Sure, Maria, I'd, I'd just like to say that it's sort of like, you know, Dimitris talked about the the sort of curriculum, that sort of employability of explicit knowledge and skills on the program. But I think in some ways it's like what we all sort of sort of lose a little sight of is is there are those implicit things that 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 are taught within this program that come from the positioning of the institution within Greece as a country, but but also the cultural value that that it gives also and those those values and, and understanding and that real embodied presence of of the importance of music and music education um are far other more the sort of implicit areas where i think students looking at this program will will you know reap rewards from for decades to come so it's um i see it as you know there are the explicit but there's also the very implicit small ways where you know at demetrius and his colleagues where it's about it's not about teaching just from knowledge from books or, or, or you know, or, or, or being with sort of other people. But it's also, at, you know, learning how to be in and with the world in, in that sort of everyday way. So, so I think as, as a program, as an institution, Demetrius and his colleagues, it's like those people who are looking at to, to, to go on the program have a, an immense, immense amount of potential and opportunity to look forward to. Thank you, Tara. And Dimitris, the final comments from uh, you. Yeah, uh, just um, a reflection that uh, I think that um, actually this is an ecosystem. Yeah, I can yeah I can call it an ecosystem. An ecosystem that interrelates performance, education, creativity, and so on and so forth. Other, you know, this overarching notion of the arts. And um, arts are really uh, connected and related to the society, which is really important. Um, uh, during our times, so um, I hope that um, you 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 will get to know better the, what is going actually the Athos Conservatoire College of Music, and uh, I would like to thank you for your attendance and, um, and your attention and your attendance as well. Thank you, Dimitris. I mean, I always in these uh, sessions uh, when I'm chairing or co-chairing, I always try to put myself into the position of a student attending it. Yeah. Of course, it's very difficult <laughs> at the age that I am to go back to the age. But you know, if I were a student listening to both of you, I would be, and I was particularly keen and interested in this discipline, in this topic. I would find the whole presentation totally fascinating in relation to you know the the range of the subjects on offer, the premises, the cultural experience, the dynamics of the two institutions getting together, all that is very, very exciting. So I would urge students attending the session to pick up the phone and make inquiries <laughs> and to, to have a one-to-one -one meeting, you know, in the remaining time. Yep. Uh, and to you, of course, a big thank you for your participation and all the wealth of information that you've shared with our audience and the best of luck, uh, which I think the program deserves to have. Uh, I hope it thrives. I hope it goes really, really well. And we will meet again sometime soon to be talking about and we're having students on board to actually sharing their experiences yeah, yeah. so yeah. thank you very much indeed for your presence thank you Maria. Uh, i hope you the audience have enjoyed it have a nice weekend to everybody and uh, that's all from us keep your cameras on and uh, and to the platform provider i think we are ready to to come to an end to bring yeah. this webinar to an end Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.